The Healing Hearts Gathering included large and small group discussions, a sweat lodge, team building exercises, and drum ceremonies to encourage participants to find and follow their own wellness path. Listen to Gary's, Everett's, Phillips, and Gregory's testimonies of what they gained from attending this event. Yeah, eh. I am Gary Etley. The Wellness Conference was a new experience for me. At times, I have helped others on their way to recovery with a more traditional approach. It was good to hear where people of all different backgrounds are coming from and what they are up against. This will help me understand the realities of life. I have also made new friends. Yeah. Hi, this is Everett Gomez. As the men's re-education specialist for the Hopi Domestic Violence Program, I feel that the workshop was exactly what I need to motivate and inspire me to keep up the necessary work that I do. It helped me understand that I'm worthy of a pat on the back sometimes. The three other Hopi attendees and I are discussing implementing a men's support group in our village. Hello, my name is Philip Arguello. The Healing Hearts workshop really has helped me in my family life. I was already getting my life back on the red road about four months before this workshop happened. I learned that other native men are also experiencing the same issues that I am facing. My family, my people, and myself are grateful and thankful that I was given the honor to have been present at this event and hope that it will continue for others to experience. It will be an honor to take what I have learned to my family and the people in the Pueblo of Laguna. My name is Gregory Dodge Navajo. The thing that stood out for me are you can always talk to someone if you trust the person and second find a positive approach for a person that needs help. There are many problems on every reservation and if we talk to just one person it may tip the scale for him to be a better person down the road. My name is Jason C. Kiaguku. I am an adult probation officer for the domestic violence program here on Hopi. I interact quite a bit with the community and with the young people of our tribe. Some of the people that we work with have to be away from their families because they are court ordered to do so. Some of the areas that are going to be covered in the workshop will help me in that I would be able to give the men back home more advice as to things they can do to help themselves through these hard times. The men are our role models to the young people today. Hello, my name is Joseph Rides at the Door. I am from the Pueblo of San Felipe. I am 18 years old and going to be a senior in high school. In my spare time, I work with youth aged 10 to 17. The issues that are going to be discussed at the workshop will be very valuable to my community and me. This experience could help me increase the number of healthy, decent males on my reservation. I want someone to be there to represent my tribe as well as speak on behalf of the youth. I love my Pueblo. My name is Brandon Wan. I'm a member of the Tahono Odom Nation. I'm 32 years old and I have five children. I'm an active member of the Tohono Odom Fatherhood Program. Practicing to be a better father is a lifetime of positive experiences. What I want to learn from this workshop will be passed on to my family, tribal members, relatives, and children who cross my path. I want my children to see the changes in Daddy. It is the most wonderful thing in the world to see them smiling and laughing. These stories by a father a probation officer and a high school student reflect American Indian men's hoping for wellness and recovery for themselves and their communities. Multi-generational trauma and cultural oppression have robbed American Indian men of their ability to embrace their own rituals, oral traditions, and renewal ceremonies. The obstacles to following the emotional and spiritual path can be overwhelming, and the compensation mechanism that often takes over is use of alcohol and other drugs. Unresolved issues prevent one's being a positive role model to his children. 
The Healing Hearts Workshop sought to offer a path for American Indian men to tell their stories, experience healing, and receive quality mentoring while embracing their own spirituality and participating in renewal ceremonies. It provided them an opportunity to share a collective wisdom on common issues and to discuss the importance of wellness and what the power of a good mind can bring to Indian communities. They recognize that they have the potential and responsibility to play a significant healing role in others' lives. Yo, when they hear your name, 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 yo, when they hear your name